Okay, so hi guys and welcome back. <laughs> Ever since I got my 3D printer, I used it to print RC related stuff. From simple stacking plates to camera holders, yes, even frames for brushed micro quads, which work very, very well. But this time, I wanted to go one step further. I wanted to print a lightweight frame for 4 inch props using brushless motors. So well, I started with a minimalistic X-frame, which you can see here, just for, for pure line of sight flying. After printing some prototypes, I decided to, to immediately go the full way and added additional area to the frame for FPV. The frame is just large enough for 4 inch props. It's a 175mm size frame. So uh, 175 millimeters from motor to motor. This size allowed me to print it even on my regular sized print bed. Here you can see the print preview in Simplify 3D, which is my favorite slicer. The holes in the middle are standard size uh, to mount BDP, flight controller and so on. The motor holes are 16 and 12 millimeters apart. Uh, which is also a standard size for the motors which I intended to use. After I was satisfied with the preview, I went straight to printing it, which is what you can see right now. I used white BLA uh, for printing it. So far, I have printed almost everything with BLA since it is quite stiff and I have good results uh, with it for my micro quad frames. I have chosen white filament because it's something different <laughs> compared to all uh, my black quadcopters and maybe it will not get as hot in the sun as a black frame would, which is an issue for 3D printed stuff. So there we are. It is minimalistic and simplistic, <laughs> but that's how I like it. Frame weight is 32 grams, which is nice. The plate is 4 millimeters thick which makes it quite stiff. So let's get going. I want to use uh, these D-Motor F30 prototypes uh, on my frame, which are the latest 1806 size motors by D-Motor. They come uh, with 2800 kV, which should work great with 4 inch props. At 22 gram, including the cables, they are quite lightweight too. Before I mounted them, I did some thrust tests to just to get a feeling about their performance. As you saw, with my dial prop uh, 4045 bullnose props, they get me 430 grams of thrust at 3S and 520 grams of thrust at 4S, which is pretty impressive for such a small motor. Just for fun, I also tried them with a dial prop uh, 5045 bullnose prop, which got them to 660 grams of thrust on 3S. Pretty, pretty awesome for such a tiny motor and just what I was looking for. Even at a 3S with 4045 bullnose props, that should be plenty of power. The build itself is, well, unspectacular. Here you can see some overview images. As you see, I'm using the little B20A ESCs, a Demon Core BDB and a regular NACE. For FPV, I'm using the Runcam Old Plus as the camera and the cheap EA Shine 5.8 GHz video transmitter. As usual, all the links are in the video description, including the links to my Thingiverse page, where you can find the frame. 
if you're interested in it. It's very simplistic, but maybe you are. <laughs> On top of one of the uh, 3D printed stacking plates, I mounted the cheap uh, FreeSky compatible K servo receiver. Those have been working great for me and are pretty cheap at, uh, I think, 10 bucks a piece uh, for a full range receiver. So that's nice. As a LiPo, I'm using a 3S uh, LiPo with 850 milliamperes. The complete frame, although well, still without the props, comes in at just 200 grams. Including props and LiPo, we arrive at 298 grams. As a last minute decision, I decided to go with the three plate dial props instead of the two plate ones which we used for the thrust tests. I freshly got the three plate ones in and I was just burning to try them out. <laughs> Even with the two plate ones as the thrust tests showed uh, and only at 3S the setup would give me 1.7 kilograms of thrust with less than 300 grams of weight. The three plate dial props will probably raise that to about two kilograms of thrust for a 300 gram copter. Well, that's awesome. Definitely sufficient to test the 3D printed frame. Let's see if we can break it in the air. <laughs> now let's go flying. Footage is from my first two flights with this frame. Uh, parts of it is in horizon mode, parts of it in rate mode. It always depended on how I wanted to fly. In this first part, which you are watching right now, I just wanted to try to go fast. To just see if well, the frame can, can take this. To see if anything bends or breaks under the thrust load of the props. As you can see, it's a little devil. <laughs> really fast even at 3S, and plenty of fun to fly it. Awesome fun. Since I did not manage to break it just by flying, I started to try some rolls and flips. My RC rates are way off in this first flight, as you can see, causing me to do one and a half and even double flips without intending to. <laughs> but hey, it's a good test to see if the frame can withstand these uh, momentarily strangers in thrust, right? <laughs> It turned out that primarily the auto leveling of the horizon mode was way too aggressive. So uh, it was time to switch to raid mode, which allowed me to do more, much more controlled rolls and flips. Much better now. Flying it is fun and awesome. It really reminds me of one of my very first mini quad frames ever, which was the FPV 250 by Hobby King. It was a plastic X-frame and really fun to fly. This one is similar. I love it. Uh, one thing I do see here is that there is some cello in the recording. I did not see this uh, when flying, but here in the recording it is uh, visible. I'm not sure if this is because of the camera, an unbalanced prop, an unbalanced motor, or just because the frame is not as stiff as carbon fiber. I will have to further investigate this. Okay, to conclude, <laughs> I will really stay realistic here. A carbon frame would of course be more robust and crash resistant, no questions asked. But at least in the air, I was not able to destroy this frame. On the opposite, it flew great. And flying something you designed yourself is always a great feeling. It also enables you to do rapid prototyping on your frame ideas, which is awesome. Even if it's just such a minimalistic frame such as this one. It really inspires me to do more prototyping and try out more frame ideas. Great to see that even a 4 inch frame for 18 or 6 motors is something totally possible using just PLA, which is the easiest filament to print. I really enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this as well. And if you did, please share this video, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And please comment below. I read every comment. So really enjoyed doing this together with you. And I am really looking forward to see you next time.